And then you've got the Incineroar to clean up. Uh, grapplers are actually pretty solid against him, Yeah, too. absolutely. I mean, you're just going to be worried, obviously, about that up until out of, not only out of shield, out of anything, out of anything, really. So you got to be worried of that, but we'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. To keep him going. That's dead. Zero to death for Pat the Ray to start the game. He comes off the Angel platform swinging. Don't you forget this man's got that aggression. Immediately forcing Nuggets onto uh, this Incineroar. So we'll have to see if Nuggets can go ahead and try to collect himself here because he might need a moment to breathe after that whooping. Oh no, Pathram, what are you trying to do this man dirty? And I mean, it would have worked. He did it a little bit sooner. And then just run back and forth. That is just such a good option by Roy. He's using his mobility to maximum. Yo, Pathram is. Oh my god, body bag! Upbeat. He's, he can still make it back, but can't quite get the counter going. But, but yeah, Pat, body bag's a great way to put it right here. 45% to 126, and the man's first stock's already gone! I think you're gonna see a random all over the I can feel it. Watch get up a little. Yep. Oh, the bonk, though? I mean, I mean that might be just big brain plays Watch trying to get stage control. But if, if he lands, he's gonna roll and whip. Oh, he didn't land, so. Yeah, I mean, can you? I mean, no. Not on, not on today's episode. Now we've got that Daisy. Oh my god, that combo is so sick. Got him with the down air, forced the tech situation. Patheran did not respond appropriately. Got him with that forward air to finish him up. Patheran, all of a sudden, he he had full control of stock one, but that combo, Nugget's trying to show you that, listen, my lead brawler might have gotten to you to death, but I'm about to go ahead and open up a can of whoop-ass with my anchor. We'll see. Ooh. Bear, but immediately break out with that forward air. Try to swing again. Good air dodge there by Pat. You need that one. Double back air, triple back air. Neither one hit. Pat wisely just gets the heck out of that situation. Toss a splat bomb. Try to see what more he can make out of it. Nuggets Beach actually is looking like it's moving around fairly well. He seems to know this character mm -hmm. a lot. I want to say we didn't get a chance to see his beat gunner, so I can't really say he knows it a little bit better than his lead. Yeah. Again, just, just flow canceling right at the end, just trying to say, what can I get out of you? Board air a little bit aggressive, though. Splat bomb knocks him away, fully inked up, but that board air will force Path off. Oh, stitch stitch. Stitch. oh my god, damage! And we got it again. Damn. Oh, good tech! tech. Incredible tech off the stitch face right there. That was phenomenal. That saved his life. That, saved, that possibly saved his game. And now we're on to his main. So main versus main, the only difference is that Nuggets Oh here. my gosh, that was supposed to be an up tilt. He was supposed to get up tilt. He was dead. I, every time I see a snake do anything, I think it's supposed to be an up tilt. Well, can you get through the minefield here? The back air, drop down. Can you get through this one? Yeah, nope. Nope. Nakita. One more time. Drop it. Yeah. Nakita. Busted. Pretty good. Busted. Absolutely. Busted. I think they uh, might have nerfed the speed on that. In, in His distance, I thought. Oh, distance? Okay, that works too. I thought it was distance. Either way, it needed some touch up because that move is nice. Busted. So, getting into game two, what do you think we need to see change here from uh, from Nuggets? Because uh, he, he really needs to he needs to play three characters. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's my analysis. He needs to play three characters. It's a 3v3 tournament bracket. He needs to play three. He played two. He needs to play three. That is my analysis. Just basically don't get zero to death. Yes. Okay. He needs to play three characters, not two. If he could do that, that's step one. Don't worry about anything else other than being able to play three characters. Step two, don't get hit. Right. Knowledge brought to you by Isaiah. It's true. If you don't get hit, you'll always win. Can't argue with it. Top tier analysis here. Game number two here. No character switch. Going to start with the Me Gunner as always. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Is that a Mario for Patheran? Yeah, I think so. In the two slot. Right, I'm about to go hard on his Mario then. Like that, that's uh, Mario specialist up in here, so I definitely yeah. gonna critique the hell out of that nonsense. Up be out of shield with that meat gunner. I mean, immediately the meat gunner has already proven itself to be better than it was game one. Yeah, I can't can't get any worse than that. Oh, shots! You're dead. You're de I don't no, think you got a shot. 
Ooh, you have to opted to go high? He didn't have a choice because of the, uh, the, the, the I don't even know what that neutral beat's called. Guard shot. Oh, right. Nuggets over here. Yeah, showing, he's showing us that the Beak Hunter actually isn't free. Actually doesn't get zero to death. Yeah, maybe he actually plays this character. Ooh, up tilt. Wow. Okay, roll in, catching the down smash. So these spot dodges are just getting called out. What I'd like to see here is Catherine show that you cannot like toss projectiles out in my face with that cape. But we're not really seeing him get a chance to do that right now. Mario's kind of just getting just about as freed up as that Roy is. Okay, can't jump, can't humble twice right there. The wow, headbox is dumb. Lingering. Yeah. Ooh, get me out of here. This character has a reflector too. This character's busted. Okay, good back air. What do you do? Like it looks like Nuggets is just like opening this man up. Forward tilt can't quite get the forward air. No double jump coming out from Nuggets. Very wise. Okay, that was actually so sexy. He charged the neutral B and then canceled it, shielded it, and then grabbed it immediately. How do you kill? Yeah, like that. No, that won't do it. You gotta get the sweet spot there, and even then, it won't really kill until 60. That up B spikes oh, you, son. Why are you down it. there? All right, here we go. The main. Chop that shield down. Pipe for projectiles being nerfed on shield. Yep. I'm not seeing that right now, as Nugget's shield was looking like an Eminem for a split second there. And this is a character in the gunner that can't break your shield with projectiles. Ooh. Break out of attack, and then the back here to snuff out the double jump. Hathorn has to go high, manages to get down, but immediately gets grabbed. And, uh, there. Ooh, okay. Yes, good stuff. Good option select right there. Uh, he even had the C4 ready. So now Incineroar, we have to see what this guy can do against Snake. I actually think Incineroar might be a decent matchup here. Because I agree. that Alula whip will not get blown up by grenades. And you see him kind of like hopping around, waiting for him to pull out an unsafe option. Misses the uh, sweet spot there, but maybe he just wants him to go high. Yeah, you want to be able to, especially, you know, you don't want to scale the area apart, right? So you want to make sure that when you hit it, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be the stop. So sometimes the backdrop actually is the better option because it allows you to cover landings, especially since it's kind of actually hard for Snake to land. True, he basically has one B reverse and then that's it. Maybe the directional air dodge. This has been a very thoughtful neutral, actually. Mm -hmm. Like both players are doing their best to not toss out wild options. And uh, that's kind of just how you have to play with Incineroar, but... Up air? Up throw? Okay, one for down throw. Oh! Yeah, mix up. Great job. Caught him holding down. Yeah, because he, he, he was expecting the uh, the up, up. Yeah! So let's talk about that B gunner. It was pretty good. Pretty good. It's like you said, play three characters, don't get hit. Yeah, and look what happened. He won. I should be a coach. Yeah, can I get $5 for that one? You're welcome. So, what's going to be the change? Pathrun taking a moment to compose himself and getting his nah, thoughts I think, in I think you just need to play better. I think it was fine. I don't, I don't think well, the characters are the issue. He switched out of Inkling to Mario. The question is, was that Mario any better? I don't think so. I don't think so either, but also I think against his composition, I, I think Inkling or Mario, I don't think it matters. Mario actually hoses, literally and figuratively, it's in a row. I believe that. It's really bad. Like, your, your true combos are very, very good enough so that he doesn't have that, like, that frame three mm -hmm. revenge won't come in handy. And um, they buff Flood so that neutral Flood, like, uncharged Flood is better than any character's aerial drift. So once you up B, like, you just Flood with a fully charged Flood the up B once, and then they can never get back because you just uncharged Flood their, uh, their attempt at aerial oh, okay. drift. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Huh. Interesting. If, if they ever try to recover and not, like, hit the stage, they're just, they're just toast. So it looks like we are getting rid of both Mario and Inkling. Now we're going Wolf as Pathoran's number three spot appears to be in flux. All right, so game number three here. Actually starting with me, Gunner, here, as well as the Wolf. I, think I very much like Thirsty. That. You're thirsty. I think the Wolf is a great option here because Wolf has a great projectile, and Wolf does not need to approach. Mm -hmm. Got a projectile, got a reflector, and uh, yeah, go ahead and show the gap. Yep. Also, I think Wolf's uh, neutral might be a little bit better than B Gunner's because Wolf's long disjointed aerials can actually plank with some of B Gunner's weaker projectiles. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I love that. Immediately just preloading that reflector, saying, I don't want to get touched. Oh Ooh, my gosh. God. Cannot land with that button. No. There's a slight delay on the forward smash coming in from Wolf. The little rear back, too. Yeah. That neutral air is so good. That's like one of Incineroar's, like, his, that's a move that's so underrated. Incineroar actually has, like, two or three amazing moves. If he was a fast character, this character would be busted. Yeah, up air is broken. Up air is Bayo's up air. Down tilt is Bayo's down tilt. Mm -hmm. it's just, it is silly. This character actually, I'm kind of glad they made him slow. His frame beat is, like, not great either, but those two or three moves are just, oh. Yeah, they're insane. Look at that throw. mind game. That movement was so crispy. I was expecting him to do it for the fourth throw because he. Cause I figured that he knew the up throw wouldn't kill. Yep. You could have. You could have Dark Slayer there too. Dark Slayer. Oh, dash attack. Okay, dash back. All right. So Roy versus Incineroar. This is a match that went really bad. Stock one or game one, excuse me, for Nuggets. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Sure. Kind of part of it was too that Pathfinder would just feel himself. Yeah. Game yeah. Three. He snowballed. Ooh, the re-grab. Can't quite get the two-frame with that explosion. But getting the reset again. Grab, throw him off stage. And the upbeat preemptively calls it out, and Pathoran was a little bit too quick on that attempt. That's what he needs to do there. Anytime you try to go high, just back off, hit him with the forward zone. This is going very, very well. Yeah. Him. Swing it okay. wild, get him with the grab. We got him. Yeah, he was trying to look to see what the, what the, what the DI would be. Maybe possibly follow up. Pathfinder doing an amazing job here. All he needs to do is secure this stock, okay? Yep, you want to do that on purpose to get stage position. Anything. Pathfinder just looking for anything. Wow. He's starting to be a little bit optimistic with these swings. Yep, there's the up tilt. Hit him with the neutral air into the forward air. Drive him off stage. Second forward air. Got the correct read on the get up option, but couldn't quite get that spacing properly. That very good DI right there by uh, by my man Nuggets holding out, recognizing that you know some boys like to beat for that forward smash. Atheran is one of them. Beats. Yeah. Ooh, get off of me! No, not touch. Oh. What? Does that kill? Oh my lord. That hitbox? That hitbox was crazy.